Tracy! Tracy, Tracy, we have an hour. Hold on, I can't see you yet. Hold oh, on, I heard on, something. I'm coming, I'm coming. You're, you're okay, I'm the one that's late. Ah! Okay, okay hold Hello. on, hold on. Hi! Okay. How hold are on, you? I'm sorry, I am great. Okay. I'm, I am like freaking awesome. <laughs> I I'm love you. I'm right now, that's what I am. I know. Thank you. I am too. Also, I want to apologize and thank you for letting me be running behind my, I had a, a lovely lady. She could not figure out how to get her mic on and it took us 15 minutes, but she only had a 30 minute session. And so I didn't want to reschedule her for two months. And so I was like, you know, it'll be 15 minutes late. Okay. And okay. So no, thank you. Amy, you are good. You are good. Trust me. You are good. Oh. I know spirit okay. does its thing and there's a reason for yeah. everything. So I'm good. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Also, um, the other thing, I thank you for also moving um, to today. We had my my husband, we had scheduled furniture people to come over and clean our couches and all of in this chair and all of our push, upholstery. And um, he was training a guy and it was supposed to only be for like two and a half hours. They were here from nine o'clock in the morning until five o'clock in the afternoon. And he, all the machines, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh my God. I got like you. So thank you, thank you. Um, so with that being said, let me kind of tell you, I'm gonna go ahead and make you big um, and make me small. Hang on, let me go there. Can I ask you what? something? Can you see can it, you, me? Like I can see yes. you great, but I feel like I yeah. can't even, like is my lighting like real bad to where you can't even see no. me? No, okay. I can see you great. You you are okay. beautiful, I would tell you. Oh yeah, no, I'd tell you if you're too dark. There are some people that come into a session and they only have a candle on and they're in a closet and like, <laughs> you're very light okay. so don't worry about it so i'm sorry i'm so freaking you're okay. excited i just i feel like i can't even sit still right now i feel like i i, I just took a whole energy drink <laughs> i know i know that's what happens when you're doing this and so you have a lot of people running through you and let me tell you how this works so sorry somebody just showed up they walked behind you in my brain and they said um they think you're a very cool woman um and hold on they have a lower voice it's a guy um and hold on let me see let me see who are you who are you so i know well welcome in it's okay so let me tell you how this works obviously it's just gonna be me i'm gonna have my pen i'm gonna have my little notepad all i do is scribble with it um so when you see my pen going that's why um the next thing is when we channel, how does this work? Number one, I'm not going to be staring at you. I'm going to be looking essentially at everything else, sometimes with my eyes closed. Um, that way I don't get distracted. And so I have to focus on the message. Um, the other thing is when they talk, they talk in four different ways. The first way is that they give me all these signs and symbols. They may pick out of my brain like a, a peach. That means that they're from Georgia or um, a pineapple. That means that they're from Florida. Um, all these different symbols that create all these different meanings. The next thing is that they will try to talk in feeling this is mainly how spirits talk so they will give me a feeling of what it was like when I took my dad off life support so therefore I would say did you take your dad off life support and did you take somebody off life support um they'll use these feelings I mean it's 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 just a lot um the next thing is that they will try to put me in a situation that could have happened to you could have happened to them or will happen to you um by taking my own memories and what i've experienced and putting them in a certain order now the only issue here is that remember i haven't seen ex or, or seen or felt or experienced everything um i'm from houston texas originally i currently live in the middle of nowhere in east texas on the louisiana border i don't believe in snow i haven't been out of the country and i really haven't been above oklahoma and so my scope of experiences are smaller, but that's also why I watch a lot of YouTube and National Geographic <laughs> and, and all these other shows because they pull this stuff out of my brain. But I'm just letting you know, if you ask me something like, do you know the neighborhood that they died in, what it looked like in Prescott, Virginia? I don't know. I've never been there before, right? So that would be very, very hard. Um, and then the last thing is that they will talk in words, but really what they do is they talk in all four of those ways all at the same time. And I'm just trying to keep up and make sense of it. Okay. So just stay with me. The only real thing that I need from you, somebody just showed up again is say, you know, as we go through with this and I go, Hey, does this make sense to you? You go, hell yeah, I mean, it does. No, it doesn't. 
And the reason for that is because I'm solving this puzzle over and over and over again. And when you go, yes, my brain goes, okay, so what they gave me, what I translated into, she understands it, and now I can move to the next one. So it's this constant in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, and also tell me no if it doesn't, because it may mean that I just am number one, getting it wrong. Or the other thing is that um, some of the things they say are very literal. And I'm reading between the lines a lot in my brain. And a quick example would be a couple weeks ago, they kept showing me this humpback whale. And for me, a humpback whale is a symbol that says there is a large problem that is slowly coming into your life that you are not paying attention to that is going to destroy, destroy it, essentially. And the couple said, no, 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 we don't have anything going on. And I said, well, what's with the humpback whale? So it was their 20th wedding anniversary the weekend before, and he took her whale watching. Oh, I've so never, they were literal. <laughs> they were literal, okay? And because I've never been whale watching, they don't pull, <laughs> they can't pull that out of my brain. Do you see what I'm saying? So right. just stay with me. Um, oh my God. All right. All right. Um, weird. Hold on. Okay. Let me move, make you a little bit bigger. There we go. Hold on. My husband decided to set up my session room today and he is left-handed. And so he put my table over on the left side. Um, hold on. Come here. Who are you? Who are you? Just to confirm, you don't do, are you just a really good friend or do you do like therapy of some sort? Well, I don't do therapy. Yeah. I, I don't. So, so when you say really good friends, you mean just to people in general? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like it's almost I, like you care a lot about humanity and you make sure. Yeah. I try. Yeah. I try. <laughs> I know you do. Well, the only reason I ask is because you have a vibe of like a therapist, not a bad vibe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I read. I read therapists. I read psychologists and grief counselors and all that stuff all the time. Um, and you have the same feeling of one of those people. And so I'm like, wow, interesting. And <laughs> it is. It's a very good thing. Also, I'll look at your chart too. I want to see like where is all your cancer energy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go through the whole nine yards. Um, let's figure. I'm trying to figure out where where everybody is um depending on where they are in their vibrational state it we may only be able to talk to one at a time hang that, on oh, that's cool can, okay okay as long as you're okay with that um no, that, that's actually better yeah okay good, good good <laughs> um hold on no i get it who are you hold on come here come here hold on Mm. weird and so your father has crossed yes ma'am okay there was a guy that walked in um he was the one that first showed up and <laughs> he's walking behind you and it's like he would come over and like touch your shoulders and i said what are you doing and he's the one saying that like you help a lot of people or you're a really really good person and he's that one that's saying saying that and i go oh well who are you and he makes me look at my dad's picture that i have over there and i go ah okay okay you're your dad and he says that one he's really nice he says that he's like um the best person not in a bad way but like in a not in a cocky way but a good way and right. why right yeah he's saying that tell me come here why Interesting. It's almost like I hear you say, like, Dad, please look after me. Dad, please look after me. Please watch after me. Like that, like saying yes. it out loud. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I talk to him all uh -huh. the time. Uh -huh. I talk to everybody yeah. all the time. <laughs> no, but I'm glad you do that. Okay. I've never heard that before, by the way. I can hear you saying, Daddy, please look after me. Please watch after me. Please do this. Please do this. And he's like, I'm here. Duh. <laughs> and he's saying, Tell me what, 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 what? Interesting. Where is your, do you have a lot of pets that are cremated? 
<laughs> okay, okay. I, I'm not going to say, okay, I, ha I have a lot of pets and have had a lot of pets. Now, a lot have passed, but I, I can't really speak okay. on the... Just, no, just okay. keep that there. So the only reason, only reason I asked that is because he just showed me, um, so they're creating things in my brain. I don't know if it actually looks like this, but this is what they show me. So behind me, there's a little urn, and so that's actually one of my pets over here. And um, I have another one on the other side behind that little crystal ball. And he's in here and he says, oh, she has that. And he, but he puts like 10 or he puts like a lot, like multiple. And I go, oh, okay, interesting. And he's saying that, tell me, who, 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 who? Where, do you have like a single cat in there? Okay, Amy, I got my notepad. I made notes of things and I told the whole family what I wanted them to come through and say. I told my dad, I said, bring the animals with you. Ah! And I told him, I named all the animals. Well, I really don't, in case he says more, I don't really want to mess this up. But yes, one of them was a cat. It one. was my very first cat when I was like five years old. Her yes! name was Charmin. Yes! And I, oh! and I named her last. I said, you make sure you bring Charmin with you too. That's sweet. Okay. Yeah. He goes like this. He says, he, I, I said, so are they dogs or the cats? Like, what are they? And he is like walking into my brain and he has like a, I know, I know the cat probably didn't do this, but he has a cat on his shoulder. Uh -huh. Like as he's walking and he says, only one, only one. I yes. go, uh, that was the mm -hmm. only cat we ever had, but it's crazy because all the other ones were dogs. And yes. I literally just said this about two hours ago when I was giving giving all them the rundown of what they wanted, what I wanted them to bring up. Yeah. And that's yeah. what main things I said to my father. There you go. There you <laughs> go. That's what he does. OK, that's what he does. And he says that. Tell me, I'm just I'm being very patient with him. Um, why? Why? Oh, interesting. Do you have like wings okay wings what do you mean by wings do you have like an angel figurine or like a wings or something like that a figurine like something i don't know he he showed me i know there's nothing back there he showed me very quickly oh maybe he's standing over here i literally have a painting of angel wings over here um and he's talking about those wings and then he's applying it to you and but I don't think you have like 50 angel figurines or anything like that. Um, so I don't know. He may be trying to say that you have angels around you. That may be one of the things. Do you have any idea? I have been told that before by a very really? good friend that's a psychic medium. She mm -hmm. said she's blown away because she said, I've never seen this before. Mm -hmm. She said, I've seen it around some people. She said, but girl, you are very, yeah. Uh, so I don't yeah. know if that's what he's talking about, I, I, because right now, you know, I don't really have many pictures in my house, so it wouldn't no. have been, you know. Uh-huh. I would have to say it goes more into angels than anything, because he shows me white, fluffy wings, and the only <laughs> way you could have a white, fluffy wing is if you either have actual angel wings in your home, or if you have a figurine like that. So I think he's trying to yeah. talk about angels, <laughs> okay, which is good. And he's saying that, tell me, when? Who oh. did somebody did like want it now? Uh, somebody just threw up the number of 2009 in my head. Did somebody die like right around 09? Um, hold on. I got you're okay. More than likely because okay. I've, they have been passing away left and right. Left really? And right. But really? none of the, the people that I wanted to see if you could contact yeah. today, not in that year. Okay, interesting. Yeah, somebody keeps showing me 2009 over and over and over again. Um, and I don't think it has anything to do with September 9th or February 9th. Nothing like that, correct? No. Yep, okay. So those would be the only things the That's numbers would um, sign. Yep, no, you would know. You would know. So just keep that there. So I wonder what 2009 oh, yeah. has to do with anything. Um, hold on. Come here, Dad. Come here. What about you? Hold on. Who are you? Who are you? Hold on. 
what? Was Jermaine like a really Wait, close friend or Jeremy? Jer okay, really close friend. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Like really close friend. Yes. Like he kiss you. He gives you a kiss. <laughs> Is it on my head, my lips, my cheek, or just oh, well, can only, we tell? so so? Whenever he did that, when he grabbed you. He pulled you closer than what I would think was just like a buddy. You yes. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes. We were, we were together for a while, but not. Oh, when, yeah. 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 That's okay. Yeah. Just because how he came up, he got, you know, like when you have a guy friend, they'll still kind of like they'll hug you, but they'll still stay away. Like when right. he did that, it was like I could feel the way your hips feel under my hand, like that type of close. And that's why I'm like, oh, interesting. And right. he goes and I can feel a kiss uh, all the way. And he says, tell me, yeah, your dad's trying to let him come through. <laughs> why? Apparently he would smell good. All right, <laughs> interesting. Oh, yeah. can I can I speak on that? Yeah, he that's okay. Yeah. Had, he used to wear Lagerfeld, and I and I you know guys always there's a lot of guys smell good and all that, but that was mm -hmm. one of the specifics was the Lagerfeld photo cologne that he used to wear, uh -huh. and it would just uh -huh. like it. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because he went up and he made me get really close to him in my brain, and he made me smell what I can only, well, it's cologne, I don't know which one, but I, I got that burning, you know, like when you smell fresh cologne, mm -hmm. and you get that burning feeling in your nose, and then he made me feel like a softness to it, and I go, oh, this is very good, this is not bad, <laughs> and, and so he's just talking about that. And he's talking about how the body heat makes it even better. And I go, oh, my God, does it really? And he's just saying, uh-huh, that's what he does. He says, tell me. And so you didn't get a chance to say goodbye to him when he crossed? No, and that was one of the, I don't even know how it oh, happened. Oh, okay. Because well, I live so far it. away. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I had I go talked so to him that week before and you know but i but i don't know how it's okay it's okay let's get into it let's get into it he who hold on hold on how <laughs> He had done drugs in the past. <laughs> He's talking about. <laughs> I'm laughing at him because how he says that he goes drugs. <laughs> I go what? <laughs> See, I knew about alcohol. I knew he he battled with like alcohol, but I had never really seen him do like no hardcore. Mm -mm. It's like weed. It's like weed in yeah. my brain. Um, and he's talking about having an addictive personality. And he's talking mm -hmm. about how um, that was the downfall of him, essentially, or one of them. Um, he's saying that I'm wondering if he started getting sick. Um, I'm wondering if because he says he wasn't in the hospital before anything like that. Correct. He never talked about that. Right. See, I'm trying not to say too much okay. without in case he brings it up. But yeah, during that time when I told you I spoke to him like a, a week or a few before, no, he didn't say nothing about being sick or anything. Okay, yeah, this is all he said. He says, man, I don't want to go to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. And then, but he goes and he wraps, like, if you get an IV and they wrap your arm up, like, that's what he shows me for a second. So I don't know if he was sick and he didn't want to go to the hospital or... No, and um, that, that's probably very correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what that's essentially what I'm going to gather from that. Um, and then he's talking about how, why? Hold on. Where? Why are you wearing pool? Why are you wearing slippers? Um, hold on. 
I wonder if, I guess his body had really broken down. Um, he's talking about, he shows me crusty toes. Weird. Why are you showing me crusty toes? Sorry. Um, yeah, he's showing me like feet. I don't remember like him having crusty toes. Well, but I know. That's what's I funny because I mean, of course, he probably did as he got on. Yeah. Well, no, because I know he's going from talking about smooth and everything smells good and looks good. And then he shows me like if somebody's wearing slide sandals and then their toes are like uh, mm -hmm. very dry or like crust. That's what I'll call them crusty like that. And yeah. he, why? Hold on. You know, if he has a daughter. Yes. Okay. He's something about baby's mama. So he wasn't with her then. He now he has he has two living daughters. Oh, um, okay. Mm -hmm. But not by the same person. Okay. But yeah, yeah. He, he says, to my knowledge, he wasn't with neither one of them. Yeah, one was much says. older, and the other one was younger. The, mm -hmm. As far as the kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's just talking about, I said, so what, what about you? Anybody? He says, I just want to go back and I want to talk to my daughter, my daughters. And I said, Oh, what? And I said, well, who, who were you with? Were you with their mom? No, no, not really. Not really. And I go, Oh, okay. And he's saying that, tell me, hold on. Where do we think he ended up like having a I wonder if his stuff exacerbated the problem and did we end up like finding that he had like a stroke in his house or something? Do you have any idea or like something quick fast no. like that? I have, I have tried to reach out to um, another one of my uh, people that became a good friend that's a psychic medium and she yeah. had told me something similar, but she couldn't, it was so close to the time that he passed, she couldn't get a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, that, that is a real thing. That is a very real thing. Yeah. yeah um, she couldn't really get a lot. So I've really, yeah. it was somewhere along the lines, but he didn't commit he suicide. Really didn't I can tell. Yeah. He, he didn't commit suicide. Um, he didn't kill himself. Um, right. he didn't do anything like that because he's in a, he's in a higher vibrational state. He's not sure. low. Um, and so that for me means when they show up like that, he didn't commit suicide or die of like a drug overdose. It doesn't feel like that, but it does feel sure. like he, um, his body couldn't take it. And it almost mm -hmm. feels like he died of like a stroke or died of, it's like he laid down and didn't something. wake back up again or something. Amy, I don't mean to cut you off, but can you ask, well, I know he can hear me, but, um, he had something that belonged to me that I gave him a long time ago. I just want to know if he was buried with it or, or if uh, he lost it a long time ago, or does he, can he define okay. it to you so that you'll know? Hold on. Let's see. So I'm going to go through a list of things. Hold on. Why? Hold on. What? What do you mean by that? Weird. He puts a necklace in his shirt. Um, hold on, give me a second. Hold on, can you tell me what that is? Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like it's like a cup. It doesn't feel like it's a Plate. I'm going through all these things in my head. It doesn't feel like it's no sunglasses. No. Hold on. Where did you end up giving him like something semi religious? Like on a he didn't wasn't a necklace, correct? No, I mean, that's not, no, that's not. Yeah, no, it, I mean, it'd be I a yes did, or no. It was so long ago that I, that's not something that would have stuck with me. No. It was something different. Yeah, he goes like this. He talks about, um, I ask him what it is and it doesn't, 
it's nothing normal from what I would normally see. Um, he shows me a cross. That's the only reason why I asked, is it something religious? But then I said, but you're not, you know, you don't go around giving people crosses. So maybe it was like, maybe it's a cross <laughs> necklace like that. Yeah. And then, cause he's talking about being buried with a necklace, but I don't know what that is. Um, so that could be something somebody else gave him like mom or another woman or right. another female that's in there. And he's saying that, tell me, I don't see it as shoes, so I'm asking in my head. I don't see it as shoes. I don't see it as clothing. It doesn't feel like that. I don't see it as a hat. It doesn't feel like, um, but it is metal, though. Yes. Yeah, okay. He just yeah. made me hear, um, like, metal dropping on my table. Um, that's, that's what he made me hear that. And I go, oh. okay. And he won. Hold on. Hold on. Where are we all like actually engaged? I was 16 and he, I moved and uh, from, I'm from Maryland and I oh. moved to, oh God, I'm about to cry. Okay. I moved to Arkansas and um, he surprised me and sent me a stuffed animal and inside of it was an engagement ring. And um, I ended up losing it because I was still in high school. But yeah, we were. We you were. were. Okay. <laughs> All right. He gave he gave you a ring in my brain. And I go, what? And then he says, engage. I said, ain't no way. Really? And he goes, yeah. And he says, it, it almost feels like I, I hate that the world split you up. Because if he would have stayed the part and things like it would have been a really good, a good thing. But obviously things and egos got in the way. Um, but yeah, and every he, time I would go home every summer, I would go to try and find him. Till this day, I still have dreams of me going, getting on the pay phone, dialing his phone number, saying I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> I yes, still have these yes. vivid dreams all the time. Yes, because he goes with you because that's him. Like <laughs> reminding of that, that's a real thing, okay? Um, and he says, tell me, no wonder what, come here. So his parents liked you or his family did like you? Well, I I never, never met his mom. Oh. Um, I met his twin brother before, but oh. you know, I, you know, we were wild back then. We were never home. We were never. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh my um, God. Was it a blank? Was it a blanket? No. Did you give him a blanket of some sort? Okay. Only reason I'm asking that I'm not doing it because my, that, um, my oh, spirit box just said blanket. That's why. No, and I'm well, like, I mean, it, I probably gave him a lot of stuff, but it, yeah. none of that. I don't remember. I just remember this one thing because he wanted to keep it. He was like, I'm going to wear that uh, all the time. And that's uh, why I wonder, yeah. did he end up losing it or did somebody take it or was he buried with it? I know? don't feel, I don't feel because I go into what it, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, somebody who said, my spirit box just said blanket. That's and I obviously I know that's not metal. So I'm wondering if somebody has some, or maybe you have somebody's blanket. That'd be more like you over there. Um, hold on, come here. I don't think he has it. It's okay. I, that's what I figure. Maybe it just, you know, because he had been through, he, that's, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to say too much in no. case he brings it up to validate no, certain yeah. things. He, but yeah, he would. I just he would. Well, this is, well, then everything every metal picture he had it on, and I'm yeah. Like, Hold on. Throughout Hold the years, so I'm like, I wonder if he was buried yeah. with that, or if somebody took it. Give me not, a second. Not knowing a female gave it to. Us. Uh huh. Yeah, absolutely. The only thing that I see, it's not a ring though. He keeps showing me a ring over and over and over again, but no, it's not a ring on your finger. I know. I know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have any, um, I don't have anything else. The only thing that my brain says that it could be metal and I know it's not an earring. It doesn't go on anything like that. So I don't know. It's like, it, he shows me a single diamond, but I, but I don't see him as having a diamond stud. Like, no, what is that about? It was an earring. 
and it was shape of a circle. A circle? Oh, a ring. He didn't wear it. He wore it in his nose because it was a real tiny one. And I kept one and he kept the other and he wore it in his nose. It's a ring. That's why. So it's a that's ring. That's what I was about to say when you Thank kept you. saying ring, but I'm like, if I say that, I might mess it up. But it's a no. shape of a circle or a ring. Yeah. It's, a yep. total, it, yeah. it, it, it's a total circle. It doesn't even, it just like totally closes. Is it really? It's, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it yeah, because be I see it is. Uh huh. Yeah, he kept showing me a silver ring, and I'm like, "But you're not wearing a wedding band. Like, what is that? It's because it's yeah. that interesting." And that's all. And I see, just I... wondered if like somebody had taken it, or if he lost it, because honestly, he'd been to jail in the past, so you know they make you get rid of everything. So I just didn't know. Yes, I I don't think he had it anymore. I don't believe gotcha. he did. Um, I really hope he did. Hold on. And you still have yours? I probably do, but I don't know where. Somewhere. Yeah. He says, ask her about hers. So ask many... her about hers. <laughs> that was so many years ago, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm one of the yeah. people that keep everything, but it's just, I'm, I, I'll, it's somewhere around. Everything is around in this house, but I don't never know where because I'm. Mm. <laughs> I get it. I get yeah, it. No, that, okay. I just wanted to know that. No, he 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 knows about it. But when I'm asking him, what does he have on in his coffin, or what does he have on when he's he's put in there, and he doesn't, the only thing he shows me is he shows me something with a cross. So I can only imagine that goes along. Gotcha. Was somebody gave that to him, um, and then he showed me the ring, and but I don't see it as any anything else. So it's okay. Right. It's not not a big That's deal. Cool. So. Let me go here. Hang on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me refocus. Hold on. Come here. I'm asking him about where. Oh my God. Hold on. Do you have a colored tattoo? Uh, I have a lot of tattoos. Oh, you do. Um, oh, you I look very clean. I have some colored, and I have some that okay. Um, okay interesting so So they showed me one thing they showed me um okay where is that at what is that now i haven't seen every single design so come here what is that interesting do you help watch after somebody's saying my baby girl, but it's a woman that's talking about it though. Um, somebody just said my baby girl. Hold on. You said, do I help watch over? T- like what would you're getting uh, is like a, 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 he, a female child or a female, somebody younger than me? Yeah, no. So it's, did you have like a, like a sister best friend thing that has like a daughter that you would know okay a, a sister best because sisters friend. and best friends they you're okay because you're you know like me i have a sister but also i have a best friend that i've had since like since i was two and she's more like my sister than my actual sister so that's the relationship that feels I, like it's gonna i be have a best friend other. that passed away you yes, do? I do have oh. a best friend that passed yeah. away who had uh-huh. a daughter and okay. she came to me in a dream. I don't know if this is who you're connecting with. Uh, it it, it but would be. She came to me in a dream and asked me to watch over her daughter. But when I tried to contact her daughter through her through her husband, that through my friend's was then husband. Yeah. Girlfriend now is so jealous that I couldn't even get to check on the daughter. So I, I don't know if that's Tara coming through or not. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, that like would be. <laughs> uh huh. Because <laughs> it's like it. I know. Well, because whenever she says she goes, watch over her for me or whatever I said earlier. And and I said, well, who are you? And she says, oh, we've been friends for years or like, oh, we've been together for years. So now I'm like, oh, OK, well, maybe this is like a sister, best friend. And they said that they have this daughter and they would want you to watch over them or that That's they try to task you to do it. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
That's got, oh mm -hmm. my God, I'm so happy she came yeah. through. Oh my God. Uh, well, that was, well, she came through on top of, of Jermaine. Um, and she, tell me, hold on, come here, what about you? Hold on. She says she was so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I was so tired. Um, and she's talking about how, oh, can you sing kind of? Or do you just sing <laughs> normally? <laughs> I, I'm not no like, eh, but we used to. If that, it, it, mm -hmm. it yeah, is. I can sing real good and rap real good when I'm drunk. <laughs> there you go. Okay, no, okay. Used to, I I used to sing. You know, just us. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. They 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 make me hear you go ooh, 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 or whatever this is, and I go what? And she's like equating this to you. Oh okay. my gosh uh-huh yeah she she loves you so what was going on with hold on so we knew that tara was going to cross over we knew something was going down with her i i didn't really know the whole now i hope this ain't getting mixed up with my aunt because mm -hmm. no no um but let me tell tara, you why i found out tara had addiction issues addiction but... issues but I know she had prior damage from all the addiction, you know, yeah. and just health issues in general. But yeah. I did not realize as soon as we reconnected that she was going to pass away. And she and, and she did. She passed away in her sleep. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. Oh, she keeps going like this. She says um, she comes up to you and she like grab, essentially like looks like grabbing your hands in my head. And she says, like, goodbye, my friend. I love you. And I said, well, what do you mean by this? And she's the one that keeps saying I was so tired. I'd been fighting this. And I said, well, you know, what is it? What's going on? And then she talks about um, her body and like what she did to it. And she's just saying how exhausted she is. Um, and she says she's fine now, though. She was talking about how why. Hold on. Really? Do you know if she was doing like meth and heroin or meth? That's and what she okay. told me. That's what I found out. And it blew me away because she was always the good one out the bunch. She was, mm -hmm. she, I don't mean to put your biz out there, Tara, but she yeah, was okay. my friend that was a virgin and only yes. had sex with one man when she was 18. And then she married him and had all her kids. By she was my good girl. She was my, my sweet sister. Mm -hmm. I call yep. She is your I sister. Was a, I was They're... a bad influence. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. I go, Tara, I said, what type of drugs did you do? I said, tell me, was it pot? Was it what? And then she says, meth. I go, what? Oh and gosh. then it's like, uh, she does like an eight ball. So that's heroin with it. And she's just yeah. talking about yeah. how, how, how terrible it was. And I go, I get it. And she's saying that, tell me about you. What? What? Come here. She tells me like, she's going to send you a butterfly and give you a slap on your ass. Like that's essentially like what? <laughs> what? and send you on your way like there's that is exactly how that came through That's in my hilarious brain hilarious butterfly and slap on the ass and send me on my way uh-huh that true. was it i got uh -huh. so she loves you she is a part of your life she is around she's talking about how what ask what did what did she say? hear what <laughs> all the stuff i said at her funeral because i've i got the balls up to get my ass up there and i had oh, to speak for her did. but okay i, well, I, I mean I, I told all our little it's yes yes like, were you up there for funny. like 30 I, minutes I wanted people when i get sad i have to like crack jokes to keep from you know yeah, i know but i know yeah but she would have been there everybody she... in the crowd was like what <laughs> yes yes yeah no she she was i would have to say yes she was there um i mean because we we do go to our own funerals but her and you were up there for like a good 20 minutes <laughs> Okay. Yeah. yeah. I said, how long was she up there for? And she goes, tick, 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 tick. So, and then she just shows me minutes and I go, oh, okay. All right. That works. And she's talking about how, did we end up cremating her? Um, you know, no, she was buried. She, I had she to think was buried. Like women. She was buried. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yeah. I said, so where are you at? What's going on? And she says, oh, I'm in the ground, but she doesn't show me a coffin. So I was like, oh, well, maybe they, they cremated her. Um, and she's talking about, tell me who, who is it? Is, is, is the Sheila person you want to connect with? Is that your aunt? 
Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's Sorry. Right she's, she's looking right at me. And I said, who are you? I go, I go, are you like our friend? Are you another one? I said, who are you? And she says, oh no, I'm the aunt. And <laughs> yeah. And I go, oh, okay. Well, that's cool. And she's talking about, tell me why, 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 why? She's just saying y'all had a lot of fun. She seems like she would have been the crazy cool aunt. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> She That's was. what she keeps saying. I mean, she all keeps of my aunts are, are, are crazy and cool, but she was, she had her own style. She had her own, she was fun. And me, uh -huh. one thing I kind of got, when we talk and we tell stories, we change our voices and stuff. And yes, I got that from yeah. her because I do the same thing. See, Very it's not animated. adorable. Uh, how, were y'all ever up near Baltimore? I mean, you're in Maryland. Yeah, but well, I lived in Laurel, which is about maybe oh. 15 minutes away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, I've never really been. I've been up there once to Alexandria. And so she just pulled out something out of my brain of like Baltimore. I was like, oh, how far away is that? Yeah. I don't know. Um, and she's saying that, tell me why. Did she end up getting cancer? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Is, can she okay. tell you what part? Because I'm going to show my mom this. And my mom's been so okay. broken hearted. Oh, okay. Yeah. I said, what happened to you? She said, I had fucking cancer. I said, oh, well, that's interesting. And that would be she awesome. said, uh-huh. She's talking about, tell me. Hold on. Uh, what? Huh? I don't know why I did that. She's, she's laughing in my head. Um, what? So it, so it, it metastasized to the fucking moon. That's what she said. Um, and what did she, did it end up going like to her brain? Did it end up like going yes. up? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. She's talking about lesions on her brain and I go, yes. Oh, all right. Yes. Um, did it end up starting? She smoked. She's funny. Why are you doing that? Um, you said she smoked. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. She, she just yeah. She up, smoked. <laughs> she, yeah. She lit up a cigarette in my brain, and I oh, go, I'm "What are you I doing?" Did cigarette. I don't. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, so for me, whenever someone, well, she's the old school one. So she used to wrap it. So whatever I think of smoking pot now, it's a you know like a little uh, a glass right. thing or whatever it is. Um, right. She what? Was it, oh, I'm probably going to, so it was on the brain. See, I'm asking her where, and she's making me feel everything. So I don't know. Did she end up like starting it on her? She just keeps focusing and circling one area. Interesting. Hold on. And just to confirm, it was not breast cancer, correct? Yeah. We don't know anything about breast cancer. Okay. We, yeah. She's, she she says my titties. She says my titties never failed me. And that's all she said. And I go, oh my god, stop. That's that why is I said so my aunt. <laughs> Yes, there was a joke on there. I go, oh my God, stop. I'm going to even say maybe it goes into like liver or or intestinal, maybe. Um, because she's talking about, I mean, obviously it's brain, but maybe it metastasized right, right, right. down. Right. Maybe it was, right. And that, and you know, we, my mom is so traumatized by it. For one, because that's her sister and they were like best friends. But also, yeah. we didn't get to go to no funeral. We didn't get nothing. Really? It was bad. It like made it, her death cause oh. even before her death, some ugliness was coming out and a lot of family, you know, were bump, bumping heads. Yeah. So that's why it messed my mom up because my mom didn't know if what was done towards my mother was out of jealousy or if it was the truth being told to my mom. My mom was told that my aunt didn't want her to see her like that and my mom's like we were best friends we were <laughs> yeah you know so my mom didn't know if oh. that was the truth that was told to her or if some it was <laughs> i think it was partial truth i don't think it was fully the truth and what do i mean by that 
I think somebody heard, heard her say, I don't want her to see me this way, like this, maybe when she's having a really down day. And I think they took that and made it bigger than what it was. Right. I don't think it was meant like if I'm sitting there and I'm I'm vomiting and I tell my husband, no, don't see me. Right. But I really want him to come in and help me and touch my back. And then right. that that means right. that somebody else would say she never wants to see you. No, just for that right. half of a second. Like, I wish people wouldn't see me like this. It doesn't feel like right. to the extent of what they said. So I would have to say it may have been said, but not in the context. And somebody took it way out of proportion. Right. Right. Okay. So a little bit of both. Um, and she, yeah, she's around your mom. So how did they couldn't cut him out? They couldn't cut the lesions out or anything like that. No, my mom knows more about it than I do, but I know they did try like, uh, radiation, radiation. Yeah. They tried something yeah. and, uh, you know, it just, it didn't work. And my mom, my mom didn't know what to believe because my mom wasn't allowed to go to the doctor's appointments. My cousin wouldn't allow her to go. So my mom didn't know what was the truth and what my mom was in denial that my aunt even had cancer for a while there. No, because my I cousin know. Well, wouldn't tell her let her speak she, to her. I know. Tell her she loves her though. She's around. She's funny. She's okay. She's in a higher vibrational state. She clearly can tell me these things, which is very cool. And so I love her for That's that. Freaking awesome. She, She's talking about, hang on, we're going to go a little bit of everywhere. Hold on. Where are you? Yeah, she'll still be around. Um, what? Hold on. I have no idea. I'm probably going to get this relationship incorrect right now, but. Hold on. the Kelsey person we're trying to connect is not connected into were they like dating somebody in your family oh holy shit sorry god okay it's okay my aunt is my aunt bringing that up yeah okay Kel mm -hmm. my aunt's daughter Angel holy what Oh, go on, Aunt Sheila. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm it's so okay. dramatic. I love you. Yeah. No, I love you. I am too. My Aunt Sheila's me. daughter, Kelsey. Okay. Kelsey is my, he, I say he's my nephew because basically yeah. he is, but, but, but really he's my best friend that that's still living. It's her son. And Kel, I found out we didn't know, but he was messing with my Aunt Sheila's daughter, Angel. <laughs> It, for a while and she thought she was pregnant by him till her baby came out white <laughs> yes and we were like okay oh, no, tell ain't the daddy not saying mixed yes. babies can't look white because i got one of each color but i'm just <laughs> i have one i have one that is white is rice and my ex-husband is half asian and half black and he looks like me just i yes i get it but kelsey um, oh my god amy you and my aunt are rocking it. Oh my God. Yeah, that's, that's what they do. So I go like this. I said, Kelsey, I said, are you here? I said, who are you? And your aunt, you remember I said, your aunt's going to help me. Um, yes. And uh, she says, she goes, oh, well, he was something, something in with the family. And I said, what? She says, dating, dating, or, or like but going to But he was in the family before that. He was, him and my son are like brother. Like he's just, mm -hmm. he's my nephew basically, but not by blood. Mm -hmm. He's my, my babe, my nephew. Uh, but yep, that's... I get that. Oh, stay with me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay with me. What, what, why, why, why? And so he ended up passing like very, very fast. Extremely fast. That's, okay. We, 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 yeah. We're not sure. Hold on. We don't know if there, if it's. Hold on. Stay with me. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Weird. It feels like he's just going along having a good day and then bam, like something happens and um, it doesn't feel like he died of drug overdose. This would feel like he, 
do we know if he was like drinking and driving or something? He feels like a very responsible guy or like, had he been out and then died at home? That's like, what we're after trying to drinking? find out because he was found alone. Alone. So we don't know if he really was alone or if somebody was there and just something happened and they didn't call. I, we don't know. Okay. We don't know. Yes. We don't know if there was so foul he, play. We don't know if it. It's not foul play. Um, it it feels. Um, he says he says it felt like he got hit by a ton of bricks, and I go, "What do you mean by that?" And he says that he's intoxicated, or he was intoxicated, or like something like that. Um, okay. And. Now that could be intoxicated with drugs, but for me that that maybe he was drinking too. I don't know. Um, and he, what, John and Matthew? Weird. My other things just like showing up on my um, uh, spirit box. Hold on, come here. How is he? Is he like almost as no? Would he be like 35, 36? How old would he be right um, now? Kel, let's see. My son is, oh gosh, I know. I, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so excited. My brain can't You're think. Okay. My son yeah, just turned fine. 31 and Kel was like three years old. Kel's like 33, 34. 34? He, he just, his ah! birthday. His just birthday. Just passed. Okay. He goes like this. I said, how old are you? And he says about your age, a little bit uh, younger or older. I'm 35. I just turned 35. And so that's why I was like, oh, is he like 35, 36? So he's right there. So he's 35, 34. And um, he says that Matthew, again, two Matthews. I'm going to have to save that. Somebody's trying to come through. Um, he, what? It doesn't feel like foul play. It doesn't okay. feel like a heart attack and they never got an autopsy. See, that's what we're trying to find out. My friend, his mother is incarcerated right now. So she's uh, not getting to see the his dad's side of the family is saying that he did, but and not not saying they're lying by any means, but we just we don't know. My friend said that she heard that he did. But she got locked up shortly after he passed. So she doesn't know. Yeah. We're gotcha. hoping that you, we can get answers from Kel telling you. Yeah, it almost. So there is something to deal with. It It could be that um, he was drinking something and he took something on top of it. And then he died like that. I don't think anybody killed him. Uh, it doesn't feel like he found yeah. him with a gunshot wound or anything like that. So and it doesn't feel like he had a heart attack. It doesn't feel like he had a stroke and it doesn't feel like he had like an aneurysm or an aortic aneurysm. I'm going to say it goes into probably either uh, drinking something and crossing or it's going to be something like maybe taking something and then that ended up being like fentanyl one or the other. Um, Oh, that's okay. Kel battled addiction previous. And oh, he was, yeah. And he was just he would he had just gotten out like six or seven mm -hmm. months before. And my son said, you know, Kel was doing awesome. Kel was doing so good. And we think, but we weren't sure, you know, yeah. uh, that he kind of backslid and you know, yep. and maybe because he had been clean for so long or whatever, I, I, we don't really uh -huh. know. But we were trying to figure out was there because they said the police said he was in his he was passed away for at least two or three days, and it made sense to my friend because we she couldn't reach him on Thanksgiving. Really? She had cooked all this food. She thought he was out of town visiting a a, a friend, but all the yeah. time he was deceased. He'd been dead. He had been dead. Yeah, I would have to say it goes into intoxication and he crossed over because of that. Okay. 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 But he is a very nice guy. Um, he just he just got, you know, turned up and it took his life. Right. Do you know what right. I'm saying? Um, but it doesn't feel like there's any foul play involved in this. It almost feels like he handled it. It does feel like he did get the drugs from somebody else, meaning like it wasn't him that just picked them up. It's like he got them from right. a friend. Okay. Can I ask you this? And we're not, we're not, I'm not out to like be blaming anybody, but somebody okay. else that I had had a, um, tried to connect with, get to yeah. connect with Kel said that she did pick up on a girl and a guy, but she, 
But Kel kept telling her, no, I, you know, it, it was mainly my fault. But kind of like yes. what you said, you know, he got it yeah. from somebody else. But yeah. I'm just, but she was giving me initials. Is there any way Kel could tell you a name or initial? Mm, that you I don't, be able to get? I, I'm just trying to see how much of it she connected on yeah. It may go, it may go with an M name because I keep getting Matthew, Matthew. Matthew. Yeah, I wrote that down when you were saying John and Matthew, you know. Like, it, like literally it said Matthew three times now. Wow. So I'm going to have to say it probably goes with Matthew or an M. Gotcha. Okay. 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 So yeah, they're around. They're okay. They love you. You have some interesting group of spirits. Your aunt is it, really like your, I would have to say your dad is your main guide. He's the main person that mm -hmm. helps you and takes care of you because he loves you. Your aunt is fun. She is around your mom a lot more. Our other two yeah. gentlemen, they're not a little bit. Big go with my mom still. Uh, yeah, uh, that that's would be absolutely correct. Um, and then even these two people, they're in a little bit of a um, Jermaine and then Kel, they're in a little bit of a different vibration. So Jermaine's up a little bit higher. Kel's still kind of like a little bit confused, but he's still a good guy. Um, and hold on. Why? Tell me. Where? Can you just, can you, is there a way that you can write to his mom? She wanted me, she called me tonight and she said, will you please ask Kel how he I thinks love. I'm going to, because they're trying to give her a lot of time and yeah. she's scared and okay. they're not giving okay. up her insulin and she's sick and she's like, can you just ask him, can he see or help yeah. me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She, he goes like this. He says, can you have her reach out to my mom and tell her that I love her? And I said, okay, I'll do that. And he says that, um, I don't know how long the long time would be, but it's almost like we're looking, are they looking at over 10 years? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's got to do 85% of her time that they're offering her. Really? Okay. Yeah. He says, you'll, you'll be there. You're going to do that. And he says, I'll be there with you every step of the way. Um, I don't think she's going to die though. Okay. I think that's really what she's kind of worried about because she has diabetes yeah. and they're not, you yeah. know, it's yeah. jail. Yeah. Like <laughs> I get it. Oh, I get it. No, I had friends. I had a couple of friends that were in prison. So, yeah. So this is what I want you to do right now, Tracy, because I'm going to have to run to my next session. Otherwise, they're going to be pissed at me late. So, Tracy, if you have questions, email me. If you need okay. me again at all, email me first. Okay. okay. We'll figure out dates and times. Um, the other thing, too, is take a couple of minutes and tell them all that you love them. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's it. And you're, you're a pleasure. Thank you. And listen, the whole okay. time I have been watching you, see, I binge watch you yeah. so much, ah! like for the last two years, like I just keep repeating. Yeah. That I it's you, so you. weird watching you on the same thing that I'm used to see, uh -huh. that my brain is getting confused sometimes thinking I'm watching no. one of your episodes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know. I know people do that. They're like, oh my God, wait, do I, I reply it. now? Yes. Yeah. So Tracy, if you need me, email me. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Amy. I love you. You're welcome. You. I love you, Tracy. Love you